everybody. Welcome to what I affectionately call the magic candle demonstration. Candles, of course, are an excellent example of combustion, or otherwise known as burning. We have uh, oxygen combining with a fuel. Uh, of course, we've got to get that candle going with a spark from the match. And that leads us to the products of combustion, which would include carbon in the form of smoke, carbon dioxide, you can see the molly mod there, and oddly enough, one of the products of combustion is water vapor. Of course, the properties of the products is different from the properties of the reactants. That's how we know there's a chemical reaction. It's also a good time to review the law of conservation of mass. In a closed system, we'd be able to measure and capture all of the reactants in the products. They would weigh the same. And we have Antoine Lavoisier to thank for that fine discovery. Pretty amazing he did what he did with uh, limited technology. So let's take a look at our demonstration. Hello, boy and city seventh graders. Captain Science here, using my deep voice. That must mean this is really, really important. We have one of the greatest science demonstrations of all time. In the middle of an aluminum tin is a candle that was ra raging just a moment ago. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna light that up. Do I, do I walk into you when you're filming? I'll stop the video. Sorry. Just about to demonstrate the most amazing science demonstration of science. Demonstrating important... A raging candle sitting in the middle of an aluminum dish, pie tin. We have a little puddle of water, but we're scientific, so we measure that at about 50 milliliters of water. It's blue because of my blue food coloring of science, just so you could see the water better, that's all. And I'm gonna put the olive jar of science over the candle, but not now, no, no. First, you have to make a hypothesis. What will happen after I put this jar over the raging candle of science? Thank you. 